Okay, ich meine, ich habe mir jetzt mal Eric geschnappt, er ist Produktspezialist bei Sivex Effects und er wird uns jetzt mal die neuen Effekte zeigen, die auf der Nemstor vorgestellt werden. Hey Eric, you are product specialist for Zvex Effects. It is true. Yeah. That is my self-appointed <laughs> title. All right. So, just show us the news from the Show. Okay, we've got four new pedals. They're all basically uh, new versions of existing designs. Yeah. The sequence pedals down there, we've got the Super Sequa, Super Seek Trim, and the Ringtone 2. And the difference between these new prototypes and the old ones is that you have 16 steps for one. They are uh, MIDI clockable. Yeah, well, I see there's a MIDI, MIDI pedal there, uh, MIDI, there yep. MIDI cable in there. MIDI is yeah. coming into the ringtone and then going out to the Seek Trem and then to the Seek Wah. So if, when I hit a drum machine, they will all lock to that MIDI. Right now they're, they're clocking t uh, via tap tempo. So if I change the tap on any one of them, the other two will follow. Now if I start the drum machine, the MIDI will override the tap tempo information and you'll get the, the tempo that's on the drum machine. I'll just reach over and hit that. Okay. You can just okay. watch this. So it's all synchronized. Yep. So now the, the, a different light is blinking up on top and that's the light that indicates the, uh, the pulse of the MIDI yep. clock. And that's going to continue until, you know, the end of time if we let it. Let me shut the thing off. Okay. So now they're kind of idling, waiting for instructions. We'll tap tempo and we're going again. They don't all have to be operating in the same subdivision. Uh, that's an interesting thing that you can do is you can have like one of them running at quarter notes, one running at uh, triplets, oh, and cool. one running yeah. at 30 second notes. Yeah. All in the same pulse but at different times. And you also have, can choose any number of steps from 1 to 16. The only thing you could do with the old ones is go four, eight, or six. Cool. Okay. In addition to that, uh, the other feature that all of these have is glissando. So you can have very staccato changes from, from step to step, or you can have it be uh, kind of a swooping sound. I'll turn these off so you can hear. What you've got going there, I've got some distortion going in through the ringtone, and that's a four-step pattern of descending uh, notes with the full glissando of the pedal so that it's, instead of going uh, 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 it's actually going uh, and then it swings back up to the top again. I can, uh, the, the, the uh, this control here that overrides the glissando it's like a master glissando knob so I can I can change glissando there or I can change each individual step of glissando and then I can save that preset to one of eight memory locations you can do some really serious cool detailed kind of polyrhythmic stuff and it would be a shame if you couldn't recall it. So you have eight memory locations that you can save to, and it'll store that even when you unplug. Yeah, that's cool, okay. So that's kind of where those are coming from. It, the Seek, Super Seek Wah, you've got 16 steps of Wah filters. Super Seek Trem is 16 steps of volume for tremolo, and the ringtone is 16 steps of ring modulators. And then. Now the next thing I've got is a derivation or a new version of the fat of the fuzz factory. Let me turn this off. And what we've got here, it's the same exact pedal that we've all kind of grown to love and know, but we've given you two additional uh, options to allow low frequencies to pass through. Um, fuzz factory sound awesome on bass, but there's no no bottom end you know it just doesn't go down that far so here we've got a position two and a position three which is kind of like midway to uh, the middle of the planet and position three is all the way to the center of the planet basically okay, Very so it's deep. mainly bass pedal right no yeah. it's guitar it's guitar but it can but be it's rich deeper 
Yeah, it can it can yeah. be used yeah. for base because it goes low enough. So you're actually you can put the whole thing gets fuzz on it, not just 200 hertz and above. It's fuzzy way down at the bottom. Okay. Where mountains have roots. I'll show you. And you can get some really cool like low oscillation things that go way below what a normal fuzz factory would do. I'll show you that. That's position two. Position three will be so low that it will just kind of click. All right. It's it's such a low tone that it can't really be reproduced by the speaker. That's a normal fuzz factory, and this is in the middle. Okay. It was very, very deep. Today. Now what you can do with that, if you play and get just the right touch, you can kind of get both tones happening at the same time. It'll sound sort of like an octave pedal, but more more synth-like than that. Yeah. Could you turn a little bit louder? you'd be getting at that setting so I just play over the top of it oh. <laughs> I love it <laughs> all right so that's the new stuff on fast factory yep we're looking probably six to eight months out on the sequence pedals probably two to three months out on the Fat Fuzz Factory. All right. And probably around $300 for the uh, the Vexter version of those sequence pedals. Probably about 200 bucks for the Vexter version of the Fuzz Fat, Fat Fuzz Factory. Yeah. And of course you have every every pedal hand, hand, hand painted too, right? Yep, yeah. those all have hand painted versions. I'm not sure what that's gonna be. We haven't figured yeah. that out yet. Okay, also das war Eric von Sivex. Of the Lamb Show. <laughs> was my was my pleasure, thank oh, you. <laughs>